Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do the two color challenge using phthalo blue and quinacridone gold deep. I found this image on unsplash.com and the link is in the description below if you'd like to give it a try yourself. I've always been really interested in trying this challenge. I've seen a lot of people do it and everything they've made is so beautiful. Um, and I actually did film another video of an owl using dioxazine purple and uh, yellow ochre. Unfortunately, the video was really, the color was bad and it was unusable. So I'm redoing it with this new image. On the left side you'll see where I was testing out how the colors will mix together, what kind of values I can get, and I think it's really interesting um, how the blue and the orange can make a really cool green or even just some really nice neutral grays that I think will work really well here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do art videos, mostly paintings. I do tutorials, sometimes I'll do reviews. Um, so make sure that you're subscribed by clicking the icon in the lower right of the screen. And uh, right now I'm uploading every other Friday. Sometimes, like this week, I can manage to get another video in um, on the off weeks. I do work full time, so for now that's what I'm able to do, but hopefully I'm looking to increase that to at least one video a week so you'll always have something new to watch.
wanted to get that leafy green feeling in the back while still um, maintaining that phthalo blue because I feel like increasing the phthalo blue will really make the browns and the orange in the beer pop out. So I just used the brush to make some random shapes all across the background um, and I used it also to increase the definition around the antlers and then later I put in more of the phthalo blue to make it really pop. After putting in the background, I realized that the deer itself was way too light, so I needed to add more color, so I did a glaze of a stronger mix of the quinacridone gold. I did do a little sprinkling of white gouache to give it a nice effect and I put a little bit in some areas that I felt like needed a bit more highlight.
here's the finished piece. What do you think? If you'd like to see me try a different combination of colors, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Once again, make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps me out. If you hit the little bell, you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.